Well, they delivered our lumber for the workshop and <laughs> after waiting three months, it actually saved us $3,800. So here we go, let's do some wall framing. Now I like to start off by actually squaring out where my two by four walls are gonna go. So I use a chalk line here, set it up, works really great. Now I've ganged this for the two walls that I'm gonna be doing. And that way I can mark, you know, both walls, upper and lower uh, plates, you know, really easy standing up right here instead. Okay, next what I like to use is a framing square so I can mark all four boards right exactly where they need to be. Hey, remember to subscribe too if you haven't already subscribed for more good stuff coming. So let's go ahead and get this, we'll get it marked out. And we'll go ahead and what we need to do is start laying out the walls and then we'll get them banged up. Oh, and just a reminder, by the way, that your lumber will not come in in exact lengths. As you can see, this is an inch over, which is kind of nice. But just so you know, you don't count on that. All right, let's lay it out. And as you can see here, I'm really fast at nailing and I'm gonna bang this thing out. Hey, just kidding, I'm actually gonna use my nail gun. <laughs> and that's Gwen, she's a big help with the build. And there's Gus. Now I've laid out the walls, I've got them nailed up. They're getting ready to stand up now. We just can't, me and Gwen can't do it ourselves. Um, so we're gonna have somebody come over and help us and we'll go from there. Now I've added these braces just to make sure they stay in square while we place them. Next we always drill and put in the anchor bolts. If I don't do it at the start when I do the concrete, we do it like this. Now we'll actually put uh, epoxy in there and hammer in the bolts here coming up. Right here and I'm pounding like crazy real fast. Okay, then we'll go ahead and tighten it up. Once you get, we get one wall done, now you gotta remember our code is every four foot you gotta have a bolt, unless it's at a seam or at an end, it has to be within 12 inches of the end of the board. But we get this, we get them marked out, we square it all up again to make sure everything's set to where it should be. And here's what I was talking about with the seam, you have to have a bolt on each side within six inches or 12 inches actually. And here's Mighty Gus. He likes to play a lot. <laughs> Sometimes he tackles us when we're not expecting it. Okay, next best thing to do is go ahead and let's talk our wife's in to go ahead and carry all the lumber over. Just kidding, but she'll do it. Uh, <laughs> but she's just lining it out. She knows what she's doing. Here we got the wall set. We're getting everything ready to lift up, but again, we're gonna need a little help. And getting the fourth wall up is, uh, that's a big deal. So we went ahead and we asked our son-in-law, which we call the forklift, and here we go. We're all doing it here. Now, once you get your wall up, I like to check everything again and again and again, make sure everything stays plumb, uh, make sure that we level out all four corners, and when you have all four walls up, you do the dance. All right, next comes all the paneling. You wanna do the outside edges every six inches and every 12 inches in the center. That's what our code calls for and it works well. Now we mark the boards halfway up. Now I do a one inch overhang, but I wanna go ahead and mark that board at halfway up, mark it on here, do a chocolate string all the way across the wall and mark it on this side. That way we can keep them level and straight all the way around. 
just an easy way to do it and it really helps out. Now here we make a makeshift leveler. <laughs> As you can see, but it's uh, it's helpful to have a couple of hands doing this because uh, this T111, it's a 5.8 T111 siding that actually it'll curl when you take it off the pile. So it's uh, it's nice to have two hands or four hands actually that you can get this put up with just to kind of get it uh, leveled up and done right. And we like to make sure everything is squared up and level. Always check your level as you go. Okay, now when you get your piles, you can order your materials so they come in a certain order. Well, they screwed up and well, our siding's at the bottom, so we got to unload all of this to get to the siding. So oh, here we go. <laughs> Gus wants to help, but he's just kind of figuring out what the hell we're doing. And finally, we get to our siding so we can finish it up. Here's that leveler I was talking about. It's just a real quick thing to do, and it they make things for this, but it's this is just easy doesn't cost you anything do it a couple of scraps now with this as you see we got it done we're going to go inside here it's a 16 inch on center building i do have window and doors i will be getting these cut out as you can see here uh, i'll just use a sawzall uh, you can use a router but it's real easy to get those cut up now, since this is a, a wall that's over eight foot, it's actually nine foot four inches. Uh, what we do is we're gonna cut these up, put some Z flashing on it, and that way we can fill up the end walls, not the gable end, but the end walls just to fill that up and you're all set. Just make sure you get your lines to match up. So it looks professional, it looks nice. And it's always nice to have somebody below you to hand you all this stuff while you're up on a ladder, by the way. Now, as you can see, it's all done there. It looks nice. I won't be doing the front until we get the actual gable in rafter up. Then I'll finish up the siding there. And we'll do that on the next one. Hey everybody, I just want to say thank you for watching the video all the way through. I surely appreciate it so much. And if you haven't already, you can click this button right here to subscribe. That would really be great. It doesn't cost nothing and you get really cool stuff coming. Hey, you can also take a look at right here and right here for other cool videos. But I do appreciate it and thank you so much for supporting the channel.